Hi Stampers! Um, Mindy here and I have been planning on doing a video for the Simply Scored for a while now. Now that it's after September 1st I can officially show it to you online. Um, but I'm going to do kind of a product review for it and then we're going to do a quick little project to kind of show you how to use it. So let's get started with some of the features. Um, as you can see it's a nice size. It's oversized 12 by 12. Um, and it has measurements along both edges, which is great. And the really great thing is, um, now I don't own another scoreboard and never have, so I guess some of them don't come in eighth of an inch increments, but this does. Every eighth of an inch you can score. Um, and that's really great for making your projects. Something else that's nice is, you probably can't see it. Here we go. The stylus has a little home so it doesn't get lost. It snaps right in there and the stylist <coughs> itself is very nice um, it's not plastic like some of them are so it won't wear down nice metal tips there's a smaller one and then a larger one it's really just your preference which you like I found that I liked the larger one I was afraid it would tear my paper it doesn't um, and it's it's a comfortable grip if you're doing a lot of things a lot of um, multiples or anything and it's very very smooth it runs in the grooves really smooth kind of like butter and they say that it gets smoother with time so um, that's great and I'm going to click it into its little place so I don't lose it they do sell um, spares if you lose yours or if you need another one now I'm going to pick this up here there's a secret compartment um, and at convention, they did mention that the hinge can be kind of wonky, so you just kind of have to play with it and wiggle it and don't force it, because um, there it didn't want to open real well. But it will open, and there's two little secret compartments. I know Bonnie Thurber had chocolate in hers. Um, my chocolate's all in my closet right now. I'm just going to pretend I forgot it's there because I don't need any. Um, but you can store an extra stylus in here, a bone folder, whatever. And then it comes with these little place markers um, right here and they can be stored in there can you see it as well um, and then again you just kind of lift up push down to open you kind of lift up and gently let it fall open okay so there's that the little place markers they do have a little um, notch on them and they said to make sure when you put them say I'm gonna put it at five and a half I can just leave it here so that way I'll know when I'm scoring my cards that that's five and a half um, but they said not to you know twist on it just pull it straight up so you don't break that little thing off it comes with three of them and a stylus and again you can purchase more of them I believe that six of the place markers are 250 and a stylus is 450. The price of the board here is $29.95 and again that includes the three place markers and your stylus. One other feature that they made sure to tell us about, if I flip it over here, it has supports not on um, only each corner but it has support one in the middle and then it has all this um, cross support because I guess some of the other scoreboards don't have any support in the middle and they tend to um, bow in the center. So let me show you how to use it and we'll get started on this little project here. Um, we are going to make this one of these. It won't be as big. Um, paper lollies or rosettes. This is the spice cake paper and the designer buttons also from the um, Holiday Mini. Let me show you these buttons, really cute. They're really fabulous. They're really big, but I like them a lot. Um, and all I've done here is made the paper lolly, and then I punched out a scallop, a circle, and then um, put the button on. Two things that you'll need are sticky strip and a hot glue gun. It works what I found the best. Um, so I have taken already a piece of 12 by 12 paper, cut, this is one inch, it'll be a smaller than the other one. Um, and I laid it across here and I scored every half inch, turned it over, and then every quarter. And I'll show you why that's important. I tried to make one of these a long time ago before I had a scoreboard, and it was a disaster. Um, mainly because I did not score 
and make peaks and valleys. So I'm just going to go at every half inch. That way I'm going to have um, scores at every quarter when I'm done. So every half. And I'm using quite a bit of pressure. You do just want to make sure that you hold your paper in here really good because it can slip out if you let the pressure off and then um, you won't have straight score marks. So I've created some valleys there and then I'm going to turn it over for some peaks and then I'm going to go every quarter inch. I'm always afraid I'm going to screw this up somehow. And it's just, it's just so smooth. It's like butter. Okay. So we're actually done with the scoreboard. I might leave it here while I fold. But the reason the peaks and valley are important is because when you go to accordion fold it, it's much easier to do it than if they were all peaks or all valleys. It just kind of wants to go of its own accord. And I'm doing about a four inch piece here because you do need longer than 12. I found that out the hard way and the first one I made broke. And so I get it all together and I squeeze it nice and tight um, to make sure those pleats are all in there. And I've done that with this long piece. Let me get rid of this. Because it has done its job. Okay, now we want to make sure when we're attaching these that um, they go the right way. So I need to lock one off because this is going to attach like that. You want a peak and a valley. So I have some sticky strip. This is important because regular adhesive will most likely not hold. I'm just going to put that on there. Sorry, you probably can't see that. And then I'm going to adhere. Now there's different ways to do these. This is the method that I've chose. I'm just going to squeeze it. Kind of got more stuck there together than I wanted, but that's okay. Now these are kind of a bear to work with. And so again, we're going to have to... Um, lop one off. And then that's going to fit on there. Like so. If I can find the edge of my sticky strip. And then if I can peel it off. Make it good. There we go. Now the whole idea here is you're going to flip it like this. Okay? And I like to try to keep them all tight in the center. Now while I'm getting ready to work with it, what I like to do is just set one of my clear blocks on it to keep it where I want it. Now I've been letting my glue gun get nice and hot and I'm going to put it just on a piece of cardstock. And so this is kind of quick work because I don't know if my glue gun's just wonky or what, but it doesn't stay sticky long. So I'm just going to have this in my hand ready to go. This is easier because it's a smaller one and I'm going to squeeze a bunch of glue down and then as quickly as I can lay my lolly over it. I think I haven't been letting my gun get hot enough because it is a low temp gun. And you're just going to hold. And if you don't have any glue poking up through it, which I don't think I do, these clear blocks are great. Um, so really that's all there is to it. Um, you can go ahead and embellish them up then. Here's what I did with um, half inch folds. You can see the glue in the middle. I haven't put anything in this one yet. Um, but you know, you could put a button on. Here I've done just a little punched circle and then an antique brad. 
this one um, is in cherry cobbler and all I've done is before I scored I punched it with the scallop border punch and it makes that fun scallop edge um, and you can do that with any of our border punches really and it just works so that each scallop is at a quarter um, quarter inch so that one turned out well and then again I've showed you the big more mustard one I did with the the big button I put some um, not our linen thread but the, the twine through there and it doesn't matter what color whatever you have laying around so this should be pretty set now I know some people are going back in and putting even more in the center but this is a pretty it's pretty stuck and if you use hot glue in the sticky strip they should stick pretty well now you could I could have probably messed with this and made the pleats a little more even but this one's actually going to be kind of an underneath layer I think if I've got it right on the the wreath um, so again I could just take you know whatever I wanted to embellish this on the on the um, top to cover that hole so that's it and hopefully I will have my completed wreath someday to show you guys and I hope you enjoyed seeing the simply scored and the tutorial on the lollies thanks for joining me see you later